Homeland Security says the number of people who crossed the border from Mexico dropped by a quarter last month. This as the focus intensifies over the conditions faced by immigrants in federal custody. Here in Arkansas, we're removed from the debate to a degree by our distance from the border. But one man says Arkansans care what happens, especially to children brought into the U.S. by their parents. Tonight, TSV 11's David Lipman shows us how he is spreading his message. One yard at a time, Craig and Marley said. Zachary Prezati said each report about the conditions that kids face at the border ate at him. So he figured lawn signs would be the fastest way to amplify his call for change. You know, you just hear the news, you know, on Facebook or just uh, flipping through the television. It's a haunting image of desperation. The department's inspector general report about dangerous overcrowding inside border detention facilities. A facility manager called the situation a ticking time bomb. And then as I, I heard it, I would pay more attention and kind of seek out articles about what was going on at the border. Zachary Prezati said he couldn't turn away. Caring about children, caring for children, it's his life as an ER nurse at Arkansas Children's Hospital. I've never so much as called my senator before. This was really the first time that I've, I've done that, the first time that I've really got involved politically in any way. But he sunk a couple hundred bucks into 50 of these signs. Kids don't belong in cages and the numbers to his members of Congress make the goal clear. I want them to know that this is an issue that the people in Little Rock want resolved, want, want changed. Uh, and I think a, a conversation needs to be had with the people and our representatives. He printed 50 and has handed out all of them to family, friends and co-workers. So he's thinking about making even more. This has taught him that his commitment to helping can extend beyond the ER. I think a lot of people feel this way and I know I feel or I felt before that my voice really wasn't important, that I really couldn't make a difference. Um, but just I've learned over time kind of doing this, that that your voice can make a difference. I sent a photo of the yard signs to Senators Bozeman and Cotton and Representative Hill and asked for a comment. Senator Bozeman, the only one to respond so far, saying in part about children at the border, quote, we have a responsibility to care for them while their claims are adjudicated. That's why Congress recently approved billions of dollars in emergency funding to improve the housing standards and provide the basic necessities to protect these vulnerable children." End quote. You can read more of his response on THV11.com.